Another way to perform a translation is through a formula. So let's take a look. Okay, let's make it clear. Formulas have been around for like 4,000 years. And in all this time, nobody has found a better way than to actually memorize it, like by heart. But the good news is, once you know it, all the work is done. All you have to do now is apply it. A translation is represented by a small t, like this, in front of a formula. Oh, and very important, when you see square brackets, that means it's a translation. Not this, but this. So if you have more points to translate, you would do the same thing with each point. Here's an example of translating points using the translation formula. When using the translation formula, you will not necessarily be giving a graph, but you will be given points. Translation formula. Remember that the translation formula is used by adding the first number, minus 2, to the x-coordinate and adding the second number, 4, to the y-coordinate. You need to apply the formula to each point. Let's start with d. To find d prime, we add the translation to the original point d. d equals minus 1, 0. Therefore, d prime equals minus 1, plus minus 2, and 0 plus 4. We then simplify it. d prime equals minus 1 minus 2, and 0 plus 4. Therefore, our final d prime is minus 3, 4. To find e prime, we simply add the same translation to the e point. e equals 3, 5. Therefore, e prime equals 3 plus minus 2, 5 plus 4. We simplify that, and e prime equals 3 minus 2, and 5 plus 4. Therefore, the final e prime point is 1, 9. We do the same calculation for f point. f equals minus 4, 2. Therefore, f prime equals minus 4 plus minus 2, 2 plus 4. f prime equals minus 4 minus 2, 2 plus 4. Our final f prime point is minus 6, 6. That's it! Thanks, Eric Bobby. We're done with the board now. See our tips section for more details.